Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking briefly about spacing and why it's incredibly important in design. Okay, so for this example I'm just going to draw a rectangle like this, give it a black outline and we're going to pretend that this is a piece of paper. I'm just going to lock that there. Okay. So um, this isn't going to be the prettiest design, but we're just going to we're going to lay out some different elements. So we're just using the rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw some squares. I'm just going to type a title up here. I'm going to make that bold. Ooh. Just blow that up. I did say it wasn't going to be the most interesting design. And then using the type tool again, we're going to draw some boxes. And we're just going to type text. And then just copy and paste that to fill all these boxes. Now let's pretend for argument's sake that this is a very attractive flyer design and it isn't just some black boxes and black text on a page. Let's pretend. Okay, so one thing that I've seen throughout the course of my career is there have been so many designs that have been beautiful and really well thought out. And when you look closer at them, if you are a, a designer or a creative, you, you will notice that sometimes the spacing is off and it just, little details like that, in my opinion, can take a really professional looking piece of work and it just makes it look a bit more amateur. You know, it's attention to detail. It's one of those things that I think some people really don't appreciate how important it is. So looking at this example in particular, you know, immediately the first thing I notice is that the spacing is off with the left and right margin. So you see here, this space. So let's just draw a nice red square and just snap that in place. Okay. So the width of that is 9.5 millimeters and if we drag that over to the right, that space there is 11.2. Okay, so it's little details like that that are so important when you're working on anything kind of designed for print or the web. It's spacing is so important. And a good way to start when you're designing something or setting something up like this is to set your margins. Okay, so if I left, left click on the artboard and we'll just choose, let's say, 10. I'm going to drag that square into the corner, like so. And then what I can do is go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers, and just drag those out. And then I'm going to take our square again and pop it in the bottom right corner. And then just drag the rulers out from the left and then down from the top. And then we can delete that because we finished with our red square. Now you can see I've done that top one wrong. And now because I've done that wrong, I'm going to have to go to view. And untick this because the guides by default are locked. And I, need them, I need them to be unlocked so I can move them. So we can drag that one down. Let me go view guides and lock guides again. Now we can delete the red square. Okay, so we've got a consistent 10 millimeter margin around the edge of the page now. So if I zoom in, I can drag this square until it snaps up against that margin. I might need to zoom in a bit more. Okay, like that. And then on the right side, I can do the same here. 
until it snaps, there we go. And then you can do the same with content as well. So depending on how you've got your paragraph set, you would want to run your text boxes up to the edge as well. And let's just say that I've got some social media logos. So pretend I've got a Twitter and a Facebook logo or something down the bottom here. Okay, so we want to position these either to line up with the left margin or let's say if we wanted to center them align them to the bottom margin so how are we going to center these two here so we know they're exactly in the center because if you did something like this to me that is noticeably off okay so what you can do is select both of them Go to Object and Group, and we're going to click on them and select this up here where it says Align to Selection and Align to the Artboard. And we get these options up here. Now this will align it to the left. Oh, no. Nope. We don't want to align to the Artboard because this isn't an Artboard that I've just created. Sorry, that's my fault. This is actually a shape that I've just created. So we can't align to the artboard. Normally you would select the line like artboard and you could align it to the left or the right or you could align it right in the center. But because this shape isn't an artboard, we can't do that. But we can do it another way. Just select the rectangle tool, simply draw a shape from left to right. And then with this shape selected, we can left click this grouped set of social media icons down the bottom also known as black circles. Then we can go align to selection and the selection is both of these elements. And then we can click left to align it to the left, right to the right, or this one here, horizontal align center to put it right in the middle. Now what it's done is because it doesn't recognize this as a page, it has centrally aligned both of these objects, but it hasn't done it to the center of our kind of made up document. But that's fine. Now that they know these are aligned, we simply just have to drag this back in until the big long bar snaps in place. So we know now that the two social icons down here are aligned to this black bar. So we can get rid of that and we know that they're still in the center. Just move that shape back over there. So the spacing here, clearly it's not, it's not quite right. It's a bit off. How do we get these all spaced equally apart? Well, that's quite easy. What we just do is select all three of these shapes and you'll see up here now, you get a few different options. Now we've selected multiple shapes and we can click on this one here, horizontal distribute center and it will position each of these three rectangles the same width apart. So the same goes if I had another three and the spacing was all off between all of them. So I have six, I can select them all and do the same again. And it will space all six of them apart correctly. And if they were all out of line and I select all of them, I can use this one here, vertical align top and it will align them all to the highest shape. The highest shape in this case is this one, this one, and this one. So it lines the other three up. Okay, and I, spacing is so important in design and I really can't emphasize that enough. And I think it's one of those things that so many people don't fully appreciate and I mean if you're making a design that is intentionally uh, kind of uses a regular spacing that's fine you know but I think the thing with that is it needs to look intentional if it's kind of like this you know some I mean sometimes I see spacing like this it's just like it's sloppy you know that doesn't look like it's a deliberate kind of design that's kind of breaking the rules you know it doesn't it's something like I don't know something just a bit different like this you know it's it, it's deliberately not in line 
it looks a bit more deliberate, a bit more quirky. But if it's something like what I had up a minute ago, just like something like this, it, it's just sloppy and it's just attention to detail. And I can't emphasize how important that is. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in my next video.